Hey folks, so today I'm going to talk about uh, scanning multiple hosts. So what do you do if you have multiple Windows 10 hosts on your domain network? And I'm going to show you guys how to quickly run a SCAP uh, through the OU. And it's pretty simple. So the first thing you'll need to do if you don't have this already, I'll post a description link. You'll need to download the SEC tool from the publiccyber.mil website. So you want to get this, the 5.4 for Windows. Again, I'll, I'll post this up. I already went ahead to go download it. So just, you know, download the, the zip file and then unzip it. Also, you'll want the Stigvir because later after we scan it, we're going to import those results to see where we're at. So I already went ahead to, I already went ahead to do it. So let's go. So let me X this out. So start from the top. Uh, I want to show you guys my environment real quick. So this is my domain controller. Um, I just I just made it like highlight.com and I have a OU called Research and Development and within here I have my two workstations that I built for my testing and I just named it uh, you know High Workstation One, High Workstation Two, WS Two. So I'm gonna scan these and these are Windows 10 boxes. So here's what we'll do. And uh, another thing you also want to check uh, before we actually continue on is you want to make sure they can all ping each other because if you can't ping it, uh, you're going to run into some errors. So for example, this is my workstation one. I'll just make sure I can ping everything here. Everything that works, that's my DC. And, and that's my workstation two. So, I have uh, DHCP set up, so I have DNS and the ADDS, you know, your typical stuff. And here are my my hosts. So I have a Splunk server of Eagle Eye, which is my Red Hat server for Splunk. And then, you know, here are my IPs. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is my VM environment, so we'll go ahead and open up the SEC tool. And also, when you unzip your SEC, you'll notice in this uh, there's documentation. So if you do run into this issue, uh, there's no user manual. That's kind of how I learned it. And if you go to page 87, if you run into any WMI issues, you know just you know troubleshoot your computer and just look at these. Sometimes you might run into uh, errors. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to open this. And there's multiple ways you can do it. Usually you'll start with this local scan you'll see on this drop down menu. But you want to select uh, Windows Multiple Host Remote Scan. So I'm going to select this option. And you could do Classic or WMI. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And you could do uh, a few options host file, select OU, or entire domain. So what I like to do is. Uh, it, you could use host file, but I like using the OU method because it's pretty simple for me. So I select the OU, and within my uh, OUs here, I will select research and development, and I'll save. Wait, let me double check. I have this right. Yep, and it's my workstation. My workstations. And uh, what we'll scan for, let's do Windows 10. So these are Windows 10 machines, and then I have. Uh, listen, we can do the firewall too, all at once, and then you can just leave, you know, select a profile. And, and one thing you want to do also is make sure you have your results uh, going to where you want it to go. So what I have for my output, I dumped in my IT folder where I just named it SCAP results. And under options, uh, I'm not doing OVO or OSIL scans. And also, I would recommend you, uh, I don't really care about this these oval results. So I'm only looking for the XCCDF because that's what I'm going to actually import. So let's save and now let's run a scan. So we're going to check these three and let's go. Now it's scanning. So I have two versions of Windows. So one of them is a Windows 10 uh, Enterprise one of the featured updates, and then I have the LTSC. So these are just eval copies I download from Microsoft. And this might take a few minutes because I'm scanning for th uh, three different benchmarks. 
And while we wait for that, let's go ahead and open our stick viewer. So I'm going to minus this. Let's just go to stick viewer. I have my stick viewer shortcut. So um, again, you should have already downloaded this and just just open up. Remember, you need Java. If you don't have Java, you want to use the executable. But I, I already went ahead to go install Java. So just watch my other videos if you don't know, if you haven't gone this far yet. So here, uh, I'll just, here, this is my Windows 10, uh, where's Windows 10? The benchmarks. So just to show you where this came from, I can remove it. I'm going to import a stake. You want to go to file and click import stake. And then I dumped everything here. So on Firefox, uh, if you don't know where Windows 10 is, you just go to your document library in this website. And just type in Windows 10. And you want the latest. So you want this one right here. So there's two different ones. One's for the scap, is one's for the manual. You're going to want both because you want the scap. So let's go ahead and select it. And this is the manual one I was talking about. Uh, you'll unzip it and it'll look like this and select the manual stick. And then we're going to select this XCCDF. And once we select that, we're going to create a checklist. So we got two hosts I'm scanning, uh, my workstation one and two. So let's create a checklist. And I'm going to save this as. I did this earlier, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to overwrite it. I just named it Workstation 1 Windows 10 Checklist. I'm just going to overwrite it. And then I'm also going to create another checklist again. Oops, create another checklist. And then we'll save as. And I'm going to name it Workstation 2. So you can basically um, name it whatever you want so, so you remember where it is. Yep, I did this earlier. And now what we want to do is get those results from the scan. So the scan's complete. We're going to click OK. Select Close. And then wherever you dropped your result files, your directory, you're going to go back to that location. You click, in, click Results, and then you'll see these two. So, so, so this is the latest scan. And as you can see, here's my scores. And you, the, let's just open one of them. Here's my Windows 10 benchmarks and here. We can open up where we're not compliant. And because I have not staked this machine yet, uh, everything's red. And now, as you can see, th th this is kind of how you do like multiple hosts. So if you have multiple Windows 10 hosts, you can just do this all at once. It's like the OU where you dropped it into. Or you could, again, go back to the domain control. You can also do it within the domain and just select whatever benchmarks, for example. So content, you can select whatever you want. And that sums it up. And well, one final thing is you, you know to import the results. Let's go ahead and do that too. So you can see where we're at to make it fancy. So let's go to the latest session. This is the one that we just scanned. And we're going to click results, scap, just drill into it. And uh, since this this is the Windows 10 benchmark manual, you want to find, since this is workstation one, Workstation 1, and we're going to select Windows 10. And then same thing for Workstation 2. Import the results. And now you got the fancy colors. You can categorize by the 1, 2, or 3. And that's how you do it. And you can go ahead and you know, follow my other videos if you want to just quickly apply the LGPO using all the group policies. And that's that's about it. Thank you.